and, and tilt their heads in ways that like <laughs> you are all waiting for that to happen you hey everybody welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get you never need to grow up and i am on a campaign today to film to try to meet my personal best of eight videos so far i have filmed four i don't know if i'm gonna make it guys but it wasn't my personal best. It was a, a, a team effort between myself and Caden. But today, or right now, we are going to look at something that I have resisted getting, the Disney Princess comics. Uh, they have them in blind packaging. They have them in a bunch of different formats. And I have really resisted starting to collect them because I'm trying very hard to stop collecting, and I've done a really good job to stop collecting small little plastic figures. Trying really hard, because I had so many of them, and nowhere to put them and display them, and they were just in bins, and I just was really, really trying hard to do it. But then I saw this set, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at the artwork. So this is the Comfy Princess Squad, right? It's like my favorite Disney princess squad here but in the disney comics uh style so this is a specific um uh, design that hasbro came up with for figures and they do them not just in princesses but they do them in all of the different you know disney uh franchises and it's just a really really cute it's like comics come to life as little tiny figures it's really really cute uh this was I don't remember how much. This was a certain amount of money, and we're going to find out how much right now. It was not a tremendous amount of money. Uh, it was, Amazon's looking for it right now. This was $31. Um, and I will put a link down below to it on Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. So if you do use that link, I will make a little bit of money and God knows I need it with all the dolls that are coming out. So um, I really like the way it's packaged and it would be really cute to display it like this. And um, that might happen because I loved it so much. I bought it twice. I bought it on Amazon. And then a few days later, I bought it on Target.com and didn't realize it until they both came on the same day. <laughs> so now I kind of have one. I could return one. I could. I could. But I don't know. We'll see how they look out of box. They might be easier to display out of box. But I also like the way this just looks. You know, it's just it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. So um, let me get them out of the packaging and then we will take a closer look at each one of these girls. I notice Vanellope is in the picture, but she's not in here. That annoys me. They always do that because she's Wreck-It Ralph. She's not really Disney princess. It annoys the crap out of me. All right, I will be right back. Okay, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of this display right here. I'm on video number five, and I actually put together a display. I'm probably gonna sleep through the 4th of July and Monday. Um, I even like had the little, the sign for the, the dolls. Let me push it out here, took a picture. So they're adorable and they're even cuter than I thought because they are actually slightly, ever so slightly articulated. Can you believe that? They're articulated. I think that is so cute. <laughs> so, okay. So um, these, by the way, oh, let's do this thing that I used to do all the time and, and knock everything over. Let's see if I can do this. Here you go. Whoa. Are you impressed right now? You should be. Look at that. So these plexiglass risers that I have right here, you can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. It'll be an affiliate link. If you use it, I'll get a little commission. Got to build up that money to get to that $4,500, get all those dolls that Claudine and I told us about. So these little plexiglass risers are awesome for displaying things in your cabinets or on your shelves when you want to, either when they're tiny little things like this, and you're like, well, how do I like display them without just like lining them up and taking up like all the space on the shelf? Ta-da! This is how. <laughs> um, this is not a perfect display. I would probably put another riser like up on top of the big one and then like have a couple up here maybe. 
Um, but they're, they're so cheap and you can get like a gajillion of them in a, in a package. So, um, they're super, super fun and easy way to display your small collectibles. They're also good, like these shorter ones, like this right here, these are great for elevating um, dolls if you have enough room on your shelves or in your curio cabinet. Um, so when you have dolls behind another doll and you just wanna like, you know, make sure we can see how beautiful the doll is a little bit, so it'll, it'll give it a little bit of height. So I'm just gonna sort of scooch this over to the side a little bit. I'm gonna check the message from my husband who is so proud of me. Um, <laughs> space bear. Did anybody, is anybody out there a Kiss fan? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody besides me a Kiss fan? I'm a huge Kiss fan. And last weekend on uh, Sunday and Monday night, they did on A&E, they did Kissery. It was four hours, although with commercials. And uh, it was, it was a lot of stuff I knew, but then some stuff that I didn't know about Kiss. And uh, it was just, it was, it was just awesome. And Bill and I were watching it. We were having such a good time, such a good time. So many good memories. All right. So I'm just going to grab one and get going. So this is Pocahontas. And remember, these are done in the comic style. So here we go. So she's got, her hair is blowing, right? Colors of the wind. And, but then check this out. Wait, here's my big meaty hand. So her head is articulated which I think is just for such a little figure. And when you think about how many figures we got for th roughly $30, probably $29 at Target, to get something that's this cute and detailed, and her face is just adorable. Yeah, dorky, but remember, it's a comic style. Pardon my finger. She's adorable. She's absolutely adorable. And you get these little stands. So loving, loving, loving. I don't get what Snow White is doing here. I think she's trying to get somebody to kiss her. Like this pose right here. It's kind of like a pinup girl pose. Um, but it definitely looks like she's trying to get someone to kiss her. Her head is also articulated. Um, and I think this just, get, it just opens up this opportunity to just pose them in really cute ways. And if you were a doll photographer or a photographer, this could just be so much fun. They're so cute. Look at her. She's adorable. Now, Ariel is one of two of the dolls. Ariel and oh, <laughs> Cinderella um, both have like a little extra something going on. So Ariel, she is singing most likely Part of Your World right here. Has anybody noticed that they licensed that song to Apple and it's in the new iPad Pro commercials? It's like freaking me out. I'm like, Disney, you, you license it to Apple? So her head is also articulated, okay? And she's sitting on this pillow and then another pillow. So you can take her off the blue pillow and have her, I guess, if you get her legs in the right position. Yeah, you just have to, yeah. If you get her legs in the right position, you can have her on the stand on just the pink pillow and have her legs hang over the side if you so desire. So, you know, not sure why it's in multiple pieces, but that's a thing that happened. That's my husband texting me. Um, if you heard a buzzy buzzy, mm, there we go. But I think it's really cute that she's on a couple of pillows because, you know, it goes with that whole they're hanging out theme. All right. <laughs> Poor Aurora. Aurora's out cold, man. She's shot. She's like, she's like just out. Just her hands are behind her back. Um, her head is slightly articulated, but mostly, mostly just to the side. Um, it's not as articulated as the others, um, I've noticed. Then with Cinderella, so our, our friend Cinderella here, so she's kneeling on this cushion, okay? So you can take her out of the cushion, take the cushion off the stand, and then put her back on the stand, and then she's just kneeling. And I think she's just waking up and that's why she's stretching. And she's cute, she's cutie, cutie, cutie. And yeah, her head, whoop, her head, ah, 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 ah. Ah, we knew it was too good to be true, right? And her head is super articulated. So you can do, you know, all kinds of cute little things here with Cinderella and she's got her little bow and she's very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, 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 it's all starting to fall apart now. We knew this was going too well. Wait, I want her cushion. 
I like I like that she has this cushion that she's kneeling on. Is she not just kneeling on the floor waking up? Because that would be weird. There we go. She's back on her cushion. Uh, let me grab my friend here, Jasmine. Jasmine's like, oh, no, you didn't. That's Jasmine's pose. Here you go. Can you see the finger? She's like, uh, oh, wait up. No, you didn't. And then her head, even though she's got tons of hair, still articulated. And then really cool. Like, it looks like there's movement in her hair. She's got her hand on her hip. Lots of attitude. Lots of attitude coming from Jasmine. Let me just see what my husband's up to. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we've got Rapunzel. Now, Rapunzel's kind of funny because she's like floating on her hair. So these are her knees right here. And this is all hair. Okay. And then there's like this, let me take this off the stand. There's like this hair under her. And then it's her hair that goes into the stand. This is so cute. If you are a Disney collector, oh my gosh. These are so cute. And if you got into the Disney comfy princesses, if you got sucked in like I did, oh my gosh. Look at this face. And this comic style is just, I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't. I cannot start. Because I know they make like all of the different Disney characters in them. And, I, and I, I've always walked through the store. I've looked at them and I go, those look cute. Keep walking. I think she's my favorite. Look at Belle. She's sitting on a pile of books with a book in her lap. She's got her yellow bow. Of course, she's wearing her yellow jammies. And you can just totally, like, like, I mean, just how cute is she? Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh, so cute. Now, Merida looks completely like she's losing it. I don't know how this became Merida's personality for the artist, um, but it is. And it's really funny. This is a wild child right here. It goes with her hair. She's just completely, completely wild. And yes, her head is, is no, but no, there's no way to tilt this head that it doesn't look like she's just losing it. Um, Tiana, Tiana's got herself a frappe here. Whoop, there we go. She's got a frappe and attitude. She's got her hand on her hip. She's totally articulated. I get her a little frappe. She's really, really cute. Just love her little smile. Aw, you're so cute. Aww. And then uh, Moana. Moana's here. And she's got a little coconut drink. And it's like, she's like, is she handing it to me? Or is she just like, nya, 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 nya. I have a coconut drink and you don't have one. Like, I want to go to the pool now and have a coconut drink. <laughs> you can get a um, pineapple pina colada um, where I go to the pool. And, oh wait, now I have to get her foot back on the stand. And uh, you can get it without rum, which is good. Because there's, no there's nothing quite like sitting in the sun and being like, you know, like hammered on pina coladas. There we go. She's so cute. And notice how she's standing. She's so cute. I love her. And then last but certainly not least is Mulan, who I think has one of the cutest or coolest outfit transformations from her princess outfit to this outfit with this varsity jacket and the black pants and the red shoes. I have always loved her transformation, totally articulated. And she's just like, yeah, yep. Back at you, girlfriend. I got you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are so, so cute. So cool. And I mean, for $31 or $29, depending on where you get them, you get all of the princesses. You don't get Vanellope because issues, uh, licensing, but you get a whole bunch of cuteness right here. 
and I love them. And like I said, you can put them on these little risers. I could have gotten more risers out, but I was lazy. And, uh, you know, and display them and, and tilt their heads in ways that, like... <laughs> you are all waiting for that to happen. You know it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can make like just a really fun... I'm going to have fun playing with this in, in, in my curio cabinet. I think I'm going to put them in the living room. I don't know. Maybe they're too small for the living room don't know but they're really really cute so let me know what you think and are you collecting these disney comics uh miniatures because i can't i just i gotta not i gotta not you know what i mean collectors when you're like no need to not know that that's happening totally need to not know that's happening so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you again real soon until i do stay well love you bye